Welcome back to part six of Mark's Hostel Let's Play, Total War Warhammer 2. So, picking things up, we left them last time. We're going to break the forces of Ragnar Doomborn, the Chaos Army that was sent against us in the Visions of the Old One mission. Uh, it's obviously taken us some time to gather our forces together because they were a lot stronger than us. But we've managed to bring in a right of primeval glory army, summoning in some mighty dinosaurs to our aid. So them plus Oxyotl's army himself, plus the garrison from the Fortress of the Damned. It's actually now a decisive victory on the Order Resolve. Uh, low casualties. In fact, no one's getting taken out. Uh, if we were to order us of it but obviously we're going to fight this we've waited long enough we want to see those dinosaurs in action we've got all our lovely army abilities so without further ado let's dive on in and smash some chaos Here we go as always thanks for your comments advice tactics and suggestions are all greatly appreciated do keep them coming and do keep those unit name suggestions on part one of the series i'll be adding in names to all of oxyotl's army next episode part seven and I should say that'll be out on Tuesday next week. Uh, this whole first week, this launch week of the series, uh, I started to do daily uploads Monday through Saturday. Obviously, this is the last upload of that week. So we're now slotting the series back into three regular uploads uh, per week, which will be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And have you guys enjoyed a new series kicking off with uh, daily uploads to start with? Something you'd like to see again? Let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section. Right, so shuttles coming in from that side. This will be the garrison force. I'm just going to try and split them up as much as possible, actually, I think. Um, so I'm going to try and have all my dinosaurs here. Yeah, I don't want them getting taken out. If, if, if they do just charge towards us, all my dinosaurs together can just smash on in there. But what I'd really like to do is link these guys up with Octiotl's force. And if that means sacrificing the garrison at the Fortress of the Dam, then that is what I shall do. Send them over there. Might even actually tell some of these guys to retreat a little bit. Uh, off map so that I can get all of Shuttle's army. Onto the battlefield. I'm just going to wait for them all to come on in. Then I might even pause, which is something I rarely do. But when there's this many units, I need a little bit of time just to organize my force. And then we'll attack in real time. Right, I am going to get rid of... Is that one of them? Yeah, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Just want to make sure I'm not getting rid of any of Voxiotl's force. That should be fine. Okay, I'm going to pause right now because otherwise I'm not going to have a chance to organize these guys. Send you guys over there. Um, yeah, those are my Saurus infantry. I'm just going to pop you guys here. I'm not looking to do full formation stuff, but just get them arranged where they need to be to start with. Uh, we've still got the Blessed Ones coming in. Okay, that's fine. You guys will go there. Skirmish mode. Did I put those guys on it? I did. Oxyotl. Uh, skirmish for you. Skirmish for you. Have those guys all out in front. They can hold their own quite nicely. That is the garrison force. And then anything else that's coming in. Um, let me just... Mm, nah, I'll just leave you. Anything else coming in is just uh, the Blessed Chameleon Skinks right here. Play. Try and slow these guys down early. Get in the Feral Cold ones. There's also Sotek Sanctum. Down. There we go. Hey, you're a flyer now, aren't you? I forgot. You're a pterodon. Go, go, go. Rest of them are going after me dinosaurs, I think, but we'll squish them. As we advance. Uh, 
Take him out, take him out, take him out. Yeah, they're going after my dinos. Should be quite slow though, so actually what I'm going to do is I'll bring them back over this way. I'll try and slow them down with some of these guys. Keep them busy there. You're going after them. They've gone. Let's focus on the Chaos Knights. You guys are walking as well. I was thinking you're walking, you're going pretty slowly. They've been dealt with there. That one's going down. Dinos, keep them busy. To be honest, the Bastilodons can die. I don't. I will be disbanding them after this battle straight away, and probably the Stegies. It's the Carnosaurs. I want to keep alive if I can. Push forward a bit more. There you go. Keep smacking them. Dragon Oak is breaking all over the place. Stop your rampage. Three, two, one. There we go. Go forward. Let's get a lovely comet of Cassandora in there. Carnosaurs. Charge. Boom. And with that, chaos is well and truly smashed. <laughs> I mean, I did pretty much unleash the strongest possible kind of uh, reinforcements I could. The right of primeval glory there. That was awesome. I mean, I think we've definitely overkilled it. You know, I kind of feel with Rise of Primeval Glory, sometimes in the past and previous Lizardmen campaigns, I've not... I've not used it probably when I should have done, and then I've kind of uh, not found another good time to activate it. So I, I feel like it's one of those things that, hey, if you can afford to do it, 
activate it and go smash some people's faces in for a couple of turns. Yes, most likely doing it this early on in the campaign, you will end up having to dismiss to um, to disband most of those awesome dinosaurs afterwards. But if it allows you to complete some objectives, pretty good. I mean, we'll we'll see what what the state of things are after this battle in terms of our money. If we can if we can make this army stretch and like survive another couple of turns. We do have those other Norskins sailing across the smashers. We can get a couple more turns of use out of it before we do have to disband it, then great. I mean, I know we could try and quickly throw a load of Sanctums down and build up that building that reduces upkeep cost and just have a dino army sat at our capital. I don't I don't think we'll just have the funds. I know we've got lots of enemies. Unless we get a load of new visions of the old ones really soon. Although that's looking healthy, that income. Hello. They got smashed. So did we actually lose anyone completely? No, we didn't. No, we did, we did good there. We did good. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Well fought. Uh, there's no money, uh, no replenishment to be gained. So we'll take the money. Oh, 2,670. Yes, please. Lovely stuff. We've got Sanctum Gems. We've got enough for two Sanctums now. 70. Yeah, this army can stick around for a little bit. Although I probably should look to... Or oh, Sentinels, Terror on Right. I probably should look... To invest in my my settlements a little bit. Although, Shagrath, we don't do that because you're probably going to get hit. He's already travelled this turn. He brought him back over here. Um... Just thinking dinosaurs, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. Um, I could... I wanna, I'm thinking we could jump Oxyotl back to our home and then kind of push out from there. So should we send the dinosaurs to go smash Palace Prince? I do want to steal... I do want to steal a dino, though. I want to steal a Carnosaur. To go in Oxotl's army. And I mean, those regiments for now we're getting as well. I feel like we should probably start getting some of these guys. This is the Fohawk Sentinels. Where the ghost of the Fohawks. Uh, would give us some flying. Um, Can you have too many comedians? I feel like maybe we get rid of one of the Stalkers. Because we can summon one most of the time with that. If we plan it out right. I feel maybe the Skink Coat or Javelins. Because these guys are still really strong. These guys can kind of... They're not frontline as such, but... I feel like we should get them in and I want the dinosaur in. Um, let's... Let's go for getting rid of this one. And that one. Then I can get in these guys. But actually, I won't recruit them until next turn. Because that will save me some money. And then... Yeah, the rest of, rest of this could go up to Palace of Princes, I reckon, and smash the Ag Hole. And then that way, yeah, we've got Octopal free to come over here. And then maybe, if there's enough money, we could maybe even just throw these dinosaurs across here to hit these settlements. Yeah, I don't know if we can hold on to them right now, but we could sack them for some money. Sol encampment. I could put in a sanctum here to try and get people in ambush as well. Try and do the same thing we've done before. Or I could literally pop one here and try and catch Surtha Ek out. I feel like I want one. Uh, I want one probably at the Black Pillar to see into Nagarond as well. But then part of me is also thinking, yeah, just just do some sanctums here and then have a full army ready to defend from future chaos. Because chaos spawn in the north as well, coming for your capital. Build up a few of these if they stack, which I kind of hope they do. Um. So I could put one here. Or at uh, Dargoth. That give me visibility over all adjacent regions. That's the, that would still show into here. Okay, it's not doing the Black Pillar. Let's pop one, one there. And then, yeah, throw that one in there. 
And then I reckon, as soon as we've already got one of the frozen city, we should go for something like, yeah, this one. Only a thousand. And yeah, let, let's try one the Sol encampment to hit people from both sides. These can just constantly farm rebellions for me. Oh, I don't think I can place another one this turn, can I? No, I can only do one per turn. Okay. Um, well, we'll repair that and we will... Right, oh, you're actually losing growth. Um... Probably should get added in defense of anything rather than money. It's not going to help in the grand scheme. Let's go for that. Watch the dam. I do want to upgrade you as well. Palace of Princes. Post battle loot or regions. Local forces. Yes, because we won't be attacking it this turn. Although, actually, Oxotl could do it because then I could teleport him back. But I don't reckon... If I give him the dinosaur, I don't reckon he can hit it this turn. Let's see. Uh, I want the Carnosaur. Which one got the highest? That one. Yeah, no, he can't move now. These guys still can, though. Um, they've got to go. Unfortunately, they've got to... I'm going to get rid of the Bastilodons, actually. How much upkeep are they? Though, I might keep... No, I'll keep, I'll keep them because I'm planning on hitting that. Then I'll disband them. You're going to get Root March so you can move a bit further. And... Yeah, just sit here. And then Oxyotl, you might as well... They go into the Fortress of the Dam, but no, go there instead. You can't quite do that to, like, Torox does to... Game it to give you... A Activate my masterful ambush again. Right, let's spend your points anyway. You, sir, are going to get your ancient cunning so we can go through towards lightning strike. More replenishment, upkeep, cost reduction. Replenishment, yeah, all through that, I reckon. And then we'll power you up a bit more. Yep, yep, yep. We'll throw in those guys next turn. The army can still stick around for another one or two. Slide so skill points for the oracle. Lovely. We are going to start. Oh, no, I was going to go through Flock of Doom. I was thinking of powering you up. No, Flock of Doom first. Quite useful for us. Right. End of the turn. Agrath and the Forge Bounder at war. The Mung have been destroyed. Bob Barris and Knights of Kalidor. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, they're going around this way. They're not going for Shagrath. Okay. Oh, he's back for duty. Yeah. From our ambushes. So, can I put a Sanctum? Oh. Refused. Okay. No point putting the Sanctum in there then. Because, well, they're going to take... I could still put the Sanctum in there and try and do the patrols. A step too far. Northmen come. They've been hit by Plague. Rakhtarak's being raised. Deny. This is the thing. I'm just kind of thinking, like, where do I, where do I want to put Sanctum? So, yeah. Sanctum location adv advice in terms of, I guess, short-term and long-term. Feel free to let me know in the comment section. Because that's the, that's the one thing I'm really struggling with right now. I'm like, do I just put them everywhere? Or, like, where's the best one for my enemies to harass them and get something good out of them? I kind of feel like maybe over there to see what's coming that way. Army's still saying at some point Sol Encampment still still do it there. Because that will help out all forces in the local adjacent regions as well. I'm going to have another rebellion there soon. I'm going to hold off on that because I don't, I don't feel confident knowing where I want to put that yet. So I'm going to have a think. You guys feel free to weigh in. And we'll go from there. Right, let's just see if Dinos can smashy smash. Over here. It's a close victory. Oh, uh, we all lose. Oh, no, the Bastilodons. What a shame. Oh, because they've got Marauder Hunters. And they've got Berserk. They're anti-infantry. Those guys are anti-large. And we've got the Feral Cold ones and everything else. I reckon I can do it while having them survive, even though we don't need to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it out in a minute. But first, let's put Seattle in place. There is definitely going to be a rebellion there soon as well. Um, so I might need to jump back, but I need to stop those guys 
How much how much territory do they have? True Hellspire. Oh, and they've got that one up there, which is obviously where that army's come from. And that's their that's their faction leader as well. Okay. Is there anyone I could trade with? Kislev. Kislev. The Zarina empowers me, Kislev. Yes? Yes. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Now what brings you here with a sheathed blade? E Kakulu. Disagree with that? Uh that is a lizard. <laughs> a weak order. Okay, fine, fine. Three hundred gold. It's a bargain. Empire's blessings, yes. Empire's blessings, yes. Raza Karak. Um for the moment I bet I bet I then get Ask your favor. I then get yeah. missions to go take him out. There's no point with the well, we'll all wins too, because we're gonna get missions to go off them. Nagron's already strength rather one. I am not no Count car. Okay, good to know they're quite weak because we could I think we'll hit them as part of our quest for our blowpipe. Anyway. Travel back here. And then, seeing as I don't know where they're going to go, I'm going to go, like, in between the two of them. And go into ambush. So, next turn, hopefully, I should have enough movement range to strike wherever they've gone. If they keep coming this way, great. If not, yeah. It's what I reckon. Uh, Dargoth, I do want to give you the lookouts. And I want to get... I really want to upgrade that as well, if, to be honest. But, uh, the other army can just about survive as well. A few more turns. I want to upgrade that so I can get Croxigors. It's Croxigors supporting Skinks. Sounds real good. And I want to upgrade that. And uh, as much as I love you, Dinos, I think you're gonna have to go. Oh yeah, we still haven't popped in his regiment right now, but it's fine because we're not attacking this turn, so we'll hold off popping that in. Rebellion over here. Yeah, that's fine. If we can get that popping off and cap catching some of them with armies that'd be good too for our income but let's fight this one palace princes and see if we can do better than that order resolve which says we'll lose two stegodons two basilodons in we go watch as i lose them all now <laughs> which upside our economy would be fixed yeah neutralize those hunters and then i think their biggest threat to us is gone and we'll just munch through those berserkers so we'll use our summons to try and take them out. And I know exactly where I'm going to deploy this time. Up on the ridge because it looks cool. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> well, I'm related to know I will be covering um, Jurassic World Evolution 2. And that comes out in November, I believe. Fast forward. Are they, they're just going to stand there and make me come to them, aren't they? Mm -hmm. What I'll do, though, is still spawn some army abilities. I'm just going to pick off their Marauder Hunters to start with. Yep, yep, yep. So what we're going to do... Oh, yeah, got to do that. Pop that. And hit them there with that. Go straight into them before they can fire at me. Go, Raptors, go. Never go. Have we done enough to knock them out? We have not. That's fine, because I've got more uses. I was going to draw them to attack me anyway. Even better. I've got more use than me summons anyway. Perfect. Disrupted their formation enough. They're disappearing. You need to save that for when I'm charging into them. Or once more. At least to knock one of them away. Go for that one because we weaken that one a bit more. Then the rest of them, I reckon we've got them. I know that obviously the spears are anti-large. What about those Marauder Hunters there? They're on pissing missile. 
I'm just going to appear on top of them. Then they definitely can't run. Yeah, whack that on everyone around there. They're out of control. Plop that down on top. They're getting us with the other hunters. Yeah, could really done with the stalker summon. They're quite weak. It's just that one to focus on. I reckon we'll, we probably will lose some of the Steggies and the Bastard Alons. Got to keep him back because that ability is super important to stop the Rampage. So that we can give them... Uh, um, commands. Both of them together over there. That's good. We're attacking now because they don't have the full support of their javelins yet. They're caught out from behind. What I'll do is I'll summon the feral cobbles on that other unit and then go into these guys. But I'm going to punch through the line on you. Take them out. Plop that there. Keep them running so they can't fire their jabs. They're out of control over here. Let's go give them some orders. That's the problem if they flee, actually. soon. Thankfully they're out of control and they've gone in there. Perfect. Ignore the spears if you can. is the fury of the dinosaurs. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have thrown you in. Go save your, your commander. Go, go. Save your commander. Come on. I'm just thinking I might lose this, actually. The order resolve would have been the, uh, the better option. <laughs> to rally. Clear, 
probably need to wait until they got a bit closer to activate the second lot of abilities. Charge into those spears. No, those spears. Lead it away. Bring that Carnosaur back in. Yeah, I think this would have been a Lionheart boo-boo. Oh, that's not to anyone. You're Wally. I panicked. Thing I can think of doing is maybe try and ram into their chieftain right now and break him. No, oh, so we've lost my lord, he's broken. Good go. It's probably these guys as well throwing their armor piercing rounds. Oh yeah, plus side. Yay, my income's going to go up. This is why sometimes you should just take the order resolve. Run away. That's what's doing it, these guys. Yeah, I didn't prioritize knocking them out. A valiant defeat. I think we've lost... Uh, I don't actually see any bodies. Maybe they've all... It says we, oh, no, we didn't lose anyone, apparently. We'll be not back. Which really doesn't help us out. It was 448, 446. Did some damage. The only other thing I could do is throw in some blessed units, but that's a waste of like blessed units having to be disbanded. Might get jumped on. Let's see. We shall see. Um, what we can do with you. Um, let's pop a little bit of... Untainted. Imminent Rebellion. Yeah, don't worry about that. Another Imminent Rebellion over here get a hold of popping that sanctum you guys let me know what you think we should pop it in the comment section let's end the turn and see where these guys go ready for oxyotl to bounce ah they're coming to get me they are coming to get me it is a crushing defeat even with my summons you know what? This one, I reckon I can win. <laughs> we are tired, though. We've got our summons, though. Let's fight it. This will decide the fate of the dinos. Well, I can use my summons to take out their hunters this time. I have to get some really good Carnosaur charges to then hit them with Stegodons at the same time. This is a terrible, 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 
terrible map. Well, you can hide dinos anyway. Look at their tails doing a happy wag. Oh yeah, some of the, some of the health on these guys. Not good. Oh, we've got we've got the the sanctum though. In that case. Oh yeah, I reckon we've got this. Right into him. That's it. Carnosaurs munch that lord down. That's that lord munched. Punch everything. Oh, we've lost we've lost two steggies. Emmy Lord's down. Balance power is my way. I've got this this time. Right, we want to try and kill all of them. The whole army's wiped out. And some of the dinosaurs still survive, but I think we are going to have to say goodbye to them next term. I mean, even if I just throw them into the settlement, I might be able to get an order resolve on it. These guys are left. Just the one. Munched. Go. 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 Yeah, they're going down hard. Ah, well, a slight recovery then. <laughs> A slight recovery. There we go. They're they're down enough. They'll be gone. Water berserkers. Six. That should be the threshold. Close victory. That should be a full wipe on their army. I think. 
Is there any that made it off the map before I saw they've got 11 remaining? We lost two. Two Steggies. That would have given us some loot anyway. And if there's enough strength in them to strike the settlement again. Yeah, their whole army's gone. That was a good bit of loot. I mean, obviously doesn't quite pay for them, but uh, hey up. They're going to go in here. It's a decisive defeat. Yeah, even if I fight that with the summons. No, they can have it. That's theirs. I'll probably go for my other settlement next, actually. Oh, they've gone right there. So I can jump on you with Octopal. Beautiful. Question is, what is the Palace of Princess Garrison? Mm-hmm. Madness! No! I mean, some of them replenished enough. I reckon we can go in and hopefully get an order resolve on it. But we'll do that next time. Uh, we'll kick off, though, I think, with Oxotl. Oxotl getting, first of all, the Fohawk Sentinels. We'll also go through his army because I'll have added in custom unit names for all the ones he currently has. And then we'll go and attack those guys and push them back. And yeah, suggestions on where you think this next Silent Sanctum should go, let me know. And obviously, feel free to give me suggestions on kind of like longer term placement of Sanctums, where you think the best places to put them will be, be it just in every single one of my own territories or just on the front lines or deep within enemy territory when I can see that far. Combination of all of the above. Till the next one, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take Prime to the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet and Overclocked UK. Till the next one, ciao for now.